Hi everyone, it's Nisha. So another perfume video. I wanted to get it out as soon as possible because Carolina Herrera came out with a new flanker of Good Girl, Good Girl Blush. How cute is that? So uh, this is 30ml bottle and the 30ml bottles come with a cap so you have to take that off to reveal the atomizer whereas in the bigger sizes this is the original good girl the atomizer is here you just press and that's when it comes out with the little ones you have to take that out and that doubles up as a weapon <laughs> it looks quite dangerous oh i wanted to get this review out quickly i've only had it for a few days because this is brand new and so far I can't even see it on Carolina Herrera's um, website. I can see it, but I can't buy it for some reason. So I got this from Perfume Shop. It is very expensive right now, as is the case with any new perfume that comes out. So if I was you, I wait for a couple of months and the prices will come down. So I will tell you about the notes, how it smells. I will compare it for you to the original Good Girl and Good Girl and Very Good Girl, the one in Red Shoe. I don't have that one because when I wanted to buy it, I heard the rumors that Very Good Girl is similar to Delina. And as you know, I've tried the Delinas and as it happens, I didn't really like the Delina. I liked the other two, but not the original Delina. Um, I actually prefer Very Good Girl, so I might buy Very Good Girl. That's beside the point. But I will compare it to those two. Let's spray that on my hand. So the top notes in here are Italian bergamot, Italian mandarin, and on Herrera's website says bitter almond. I don't think I can smell the almond. I get my notes from Fragrantica, but they sometimes vary when you compare it to the own website. In, in the middle, it has ylang ylang and peony, so there is no rose in this one, although on Herrera's website says that they've used some sort of rose water. And base vanilla and tonka bean. So this opens up very bright and fruity because of that bergamot and mandarin. And then you start smelling the ylang ylang and peony. I can't smell any rose in this one. It's, it's more the peony. So it's a fruity floral fragrance. It's very, very pretty. It's... When it starts drying out, drying down, it becomes, then you can smell the vanilla and becomes a bit more powdery, very soft, very pretty. That's how I would describe it, pretty. Yeah, it stops being really bright and citrusy, it becomes more powdery and vanilla. It's much lighter than the original good girl and the very good girl let me smell the ori spray the original good girl on my hand here yeah the opening is quite different because if you look at the notes in good girl there's like millions of notes although when you go to uh, herrera's website they only a list in top almond, then in the middle jasmine, sandbag and tuberose, and in base tonka bean and coca. But cocoa. But when you go onto Fragrantica, there is like millions of notes in this particular um, perfume. And I think they never give everything away because obviously they don't want anybody to copy exactly what they're doing. So you never will get 
every single note that they've put in there. But on Fragrantica, I will put you in a minute, um, I've put together, it looks a bit odd because this one has so many <laughs> notes, it was hard to fit on a page. But I will leave you the notes for all three of them so you can have a look and compare them. So you see in this one, I can, the bergamot and lemon that is in top notes here, it's not as bright and prominent. I can smell a bit of the almond, the tuberose, very sweet tuberose, and the jasmine. And, and then you in the base you have tonka bean, vanilla, pra, praline, sandalwood, musk, amber, cashmere wood, cinnamon, patchouli, cedar. So it's much more woody, warm and dark, like an evening uh, fragrance, I would say. It's beautiful. I love Good Girl. Yeah, this is definitely heavier, richer, more dense. Whereas this, the Good Girl bl blush is very airy, summery, I would say. But still nice and comforting because of that vanilla and tonka bean. Okay. Let me now spray the very good girl. I spray it next to here, next to blush. You see, this opens up more like the good girl blush because it has lychee and red currant. So red currant is quite sharp and citrusy, sour, and lychee is just slightly sweet. And then in the middle, you've got uh, rose and lily, and again, a bourbon vanilla and vetiver in a base. I would say that the Good Girl blush, once it dries down, you can definitely smell that Good Girl DNA, but I feel it's more similar to Very Good Girl rather than the Good Girl. I know it's confusing. There is so many flankers of Good Girl. Yeah, I feel blush and very good girl are more similar than blush and good girl. Yes, to me, this is more similar to very good girl. It's just still a bit um, lighter, not fresher. I almost feel that if you have the very good girl, you probably don't really need this one but if you have the good girl this is different you can smell that good girl dna but they are different so i wouldn't get this if you have this they are a bit different but it's just that in a very good girl, you can smell the rose more, whereas in a blush, it's more peony and, um, and that ylang ylang. So the very good girl stays sharper, brighter. Like I can really smell that rose. Whereas this opens up quite sharp and citrusy, but then becomes very mellow and and powdery i can all, always whenever i smell a fragrance imagine what you would be wearing clothes wise who you would be where you would be while you're wearing that fragrance if that makes sense so to me good girl is this sexy confident boss lady that would wear nice power suit and really knows what she wants. That's to me good girl. Very good girl to me is confident but a bit more fun. I can imagine her with red lipstick in a nice sexy dress. That's to me very good girl. Now with the blush you are fun carefree and I can imagine you in a flowy dress something like that so that's how I imagine 
who would wear this perfume. I like them all. I still really, really like this. Not regret in buying it, but this one is not as projecting, not as strong. It's much more mellow and gentle than the other two. Yes, so the very good girl, I can smell that rose in it now and it has that Delina vibe about it, whereas this one doesn't. It's sweet, I can really smell that vanilla. It's basically fruity vanilla with a bit of that peony and ylang ylang. It doesn't stay sharp. It's lovely, it's very cozy, very pretty. Pretty, I would call it pretty. So if you didn't like the original Good Girl, I would try this, give it a try. I'm not saying run out and buy it. If you can get a sample or sniff it somewhere in a store, do it. Because to me, they do share DNA, obviously they will. They are flankers of the same thing, but it, it, it is different. It is still a bit different from the very good girl, but closer to it. It's just a bit more sweet, I think, than the very good girl. I usually buy just 30 ml of everything unless I can get a really good deal on a bigger size. So I did get 30 ml. This, I got a really good deal and it came also with a body lotion. So that's why I've got a big one. Otherwise I probably wouldn't have bought a big one. I've got so many perfumes that it is very hard to use up more than 30 ml. So have a look now. I will put on a screen the comparison of all the notes. So as you can see, I would say that the good girl blush and the very good girl are sort of more similar in the notes in a respect that the blush has bergamot and mandarin which are quite citrusy and then the very good girl has the lychee and red currant red, red currant it will be quite sharp as well and sour the middle is a bit different obviously you have ylang ylang and peony and blush and rose and lily in the very good girl and then the same in a base notes vanilla and tonka bean that's why I feel that they are a bit more similar to each other. Then as you can see in Good Girl, the amount of notes, it's just mind blowing. But I think even from the notes, you can tell that the Good Girl will be quite different to the other two. So these were my quick thoughts on the Good Girl blush. Like I've told you, I've only had it for a few days. Um, I like it. I think it's very, very pretty. The color is so appropriate for what it smells like. I think they've done it really well with the colors. Like I said, this is more dark and mysterious and that's exactly how it smells. The red one is more fun and sexy and confident. A red lipstick and it's in a red bottle. And this is more pretty, gentle, girly in pink bottles. I think the colors correspond really well with the smells. I hope you enjoyed this video. Thank you so much for watching and stay fabulous. Bye!